Creating a green screen in VideoPad is really, really simple. Unfortunately, though, VideoPad has a bug in it that makes the creation a few more steps than it really needs to be. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to explain what the bug is. And then I'm going to show you how you can also clean up your shot after you've had it finished. The first thing you always do in VideoPad is you add media, which means you're going to add your movie, you're going to add your pictures. So you click on Add Media, and then you go find where your stuff lives. Well, in our case, I'm using a flip camera. If I was using the SD cards, then I would just go and find my videos on an SD card. I'm now pulling in what we're going to call the overlay file. But in my mind, this is the green screen file. And I'll show you why I say that. There he is. As you can see, I'm standing in front of a green screen. This is what this cloth is behind me. Also notice, though, that when we shot it, we actually filmed outside of the green screen. Oh, no. How are we going to be able to fix all this? It's very, very simple. Now, I also want a picture behind me, so I'm going to go find myself a picture. I'm just going to use the ones that are readily available on my computer here. You will have gone out and found real pictures that will show what it, your story is about. And now I'm ready to go. But here's where the bug is. If I pull in my green screen movie into my overlay track, it loses its audio. And we're suddenly stuck with no sound. So the way we fix that is we pull it in first into the top area. And as you can see, here's the movie. And then here's an audio track right down here. In fact, it even says an audio track. So what I have to do is right click on the movie. And I want to unlink the sound clip. Just say unlink sound clip. And what it does is it makes the sound now a separate file from the video file. So now I can come up here on the video and say, I'm sorry. I don't want you there, and I'm going to remove you. Now, notice when I do that, the audio still stays right where it is. And so what I can do is I can now pull in my green screen into the overlay track where it's supposed to go, make sure that I slide it over so it all lines up with my audio track, and now I'm done. Next step is I'm going to go up here and grab my background picture and drop it into the first video line. Now my background picture is much smaller than my green screen part. That's not a problem. I click on it and then I go to the edge and now I can pull it so that it matches my video. At this point, if I go back and click on the overlay, you have to kind of pull this down here so you can see it, I now am ready to do the green screen. So I click on the little chroma key head right here. And as you can see, if I now click on the green part, it all kind of disappears. But not all of it. As you can see, there's some here that's still showing through. But watch what you can do. Grab and slide. And as you can see, it slowly but surely makes it all go away. Also notice the clothing I'm wearing is a nice contrast. Always nice. But we also have this problem with this outside stuff. Well, we're going to fix that here in just a second. So when I click OK, what we should see happen now is now I'm in the picture, but I'm little teeny tiny. Well, to make me fit into the picture, I use size. And now, all of a sudden, I go from being little teeny tiny to actually looking like I'm a part of the scene. Now, if I want to use the ability of sizing to make it look like I'm lost in a big old desert, I can make myself smaller. If I want to have me front and center talking, then I can make myself bigger. If I want to make myself a ghost, I can use the opacity 
and I can slide it down and I slowly disappear. Kind of cool. Now, as you can see, we have a problem with the sides showing through. How are we going to fix that? Well, that's really easy. We go up here to the effects tab and we're going to find the one that pops in that says crop. And over here now, I can grab the edges and squeeze them in to the point where everything in the video that shouldn't be there now disappears. Even if I have overlap down here at the bottom, I can pull it up. When I do that, it makes me look a little bit, even a little bit bigger. I can even pull it down from the top if I need to. It's a really powerful way to make your picture just look perfect. Now notice when we're doing all this, there's this line right here that's moving slowly across the screen. That's called rendering. You have to allow your videos to render. Although VideoPad does a really good job of allowing you to keep working even while it's rendering. But you cannot, 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 cannot save your VideoPad out until this line that's rendering finishes.